All right, hey guys, and welcome back. As back to school month continues all month long, this week I figured what more perfect of a back to school accessory to take a look at since last week I took a look at pencils and pencil cases, but of course their counterparts with vintage erasers. These were all of my vintage erasers that I had growing up as a kid in elementary and middle school, so let's take a look at some of the erasers that I have here today. Now the first one that I have here, this is uh, the real Ghostbusters, and I'm sorry these aren't in better shape, but these, uh, you know, they, these are exactly how I used them in a, used them in grade school, and this is from uh, 1987 Columbia Pictures, and yeah, I was pretty brutal with my er erasers. You can see I jab out the mouth and the eyes of the ghost in the ghost logo, uh, but these were really fun. I, I love getting any of these types of. Uh, icon or like product uh, related erasers. They were really cool. Like I had the Ghostbusters pencil sharpener and like a whole set of back to school stuff for pretty much everything um, that I have here. So this was really fun. I remember using this a lot in middle school and it's just, you know, that's how it looks after use. Unfortunately, these aren't in pristine condition because they've uh, been lived through, but really cool. And uh, moving right along here. I also have this uh, Gizmo Gremlins eraser, and man, you can barely tell that it's Gizmo. His uh, ear is broken off over the years, and you know, many little pencil holes all over the place. Uh, but I mean, it's still pretty cool from what you can see of him. You know, you can kind of tell that it's Gizmo. And this was one of my favorite erasers because you know, he pretend he's like walking around and causing trouble and stuff like that. And uh, just a neat looking eraser, really cool. And I was a big fan of Gremlins growing up as a kid, so this was really cool. And these little set of erasers. Now these came in a little plastic pouch. And um, I think my dad actually got these through like a magazine or something. But you could get them in stores too. Um, and a lot of times they would have like a little foam tray that you would put them on. And they're like supposed to be kind of like a Happy Meal, except they're, you know, non-branded, so that way they didn't get sued by McDonald's or anything. So you got the set of three here, and first we have this little strawberry shake. There you go, strawberry milkshake eraser, made in Taiwan. Has the uh, little straw and the wrapper around it. These are really cool. They're very, very detailed, so that's why I, I like about them. And this is funny, because this is fries, but it says chips eraser. So you can tell, like, the language barrier. It's like, well, they're not chips. Like, in England, they'd be chips, but over here in America, they'd be just fries. And you can take these out. They're like little individual fries that go in there. Pretty neat. What would fries be without the main attraction? You got your big hamburger. And I actually remember some of these, like the red part of it, they actually kind of smelled... Um, I don't know, they had like a... it, it kind of smelled like a hamburger. I mean, it doesn't anymore, but I remember that when I was a kid. And I went through a lot of these erasers. They're really neat. They are cool. Alright, and last but not least here, this one is probably my favorite one of all, even though it's not really branded or anything, but just really cool with the logo and the design on it. Uh, this is a uh, late 80s, like 85, 86, I remember getting this also when I was in middle school, and it's just a, uh, I don't think it has a, any marking on the back, just a spaceship. Um, Eraser, and you can see like the city scape there. Let's zoom in a little bit here. You can see like the city in the background and the clouds, and the ship kind of looks like uh, you know like like a uh, Gradius, you know, or Life Force or something like that. So it just looks really cool. Or even another great Game Boy game that I reviewed, like Solar Striker. It just reminds me of those shoot 'em up ships, or maybe like Galaga or something like that. So. This was really cool, and I, I just always liked looking at this, like when I was in class. Like it just reminded me of my favorite video game. So uh, this is another really cool er eraser that I'm uh, really, really fond of. So 
So, really cool. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed checking out these retro uh, themed racers with me this week. And make sure to stop by next week for another back to school review. See you next time. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And you can follow me at Facebook at Kinger Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.